My name is Oluri Atuashe III. I'm the wife of Ogyame Atuashe III, who's the Uluwavori. He is a first-class monarch in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. Over the years, I have contributed significantly to various healthcare initiatives in Nigeria. I believe that the approach to malaria should be broad. Um, and so using my resources, my skills, my network to improve the healthcare system in Nigeria, I think is one of the ways that I have um, contributed to the fight against malaria. Most of the people that suffer malaria are children between zero to five. I think malaria is actually a disease um, that challenges our, our legacy. Um, most of the children that suffer these and are not able to survive are children in the most remote parts of the country without access to adequate health care. Fight against malaria is a fight for our future. Um, malaria is with the statistics as we know is a disease that really challenges our children um, and we must look to really bring down the numbers or just eradicate it completely so that that for me is why there's a personal um, as well as um, national cause to, to eradicate the disease. Most of these people that are self-medicating are not looking to harm themselves in fact they're looking to protect themselves however there is a lack of knowledge um, come together to begin to educate the people to, uh, to illustrate and to explain to them especially healthcare education I think healthcare education is one of the most important um, aspects of education that we need to focus on as a people um, government and even localized you know begin to sensitize the people um, to the risks of self-medication then we can really begin to lower that decades ago I had just started boarding school in Nigeria and I was really excited to go to boarding school because I was tired of staying at home. Um, however, shortly after I started boarding school, I became critically ill. My parents came to, to visit me and they saw me looking emaciated. At first, you know, my, my father at that time, he was panicking and I'm, you know, I'm trying to form like the cool kid in school. I'm like, daddy, chill, chill, chill. He's like, oh my goodness, you look so skinny. What's going on? And I'm, I, I was ill, but I was still trying to, you know, get on with life. Um, wisely, they pulled me out and they rushed me to the hospital where they found out that I had malaria so severe that it had kick-started anemia. Um, and so I was actually out of school for about a month trying to recuperate. Um, my mom threw everything down the pan. I mean, we had, because the anemia was quite severe, they, 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 but my mom was trying not to give me blood. So, you know, we had the whole giving me ugu and all that kind of stuff. But I think for me, that was not the first time I had malaria, neither was it the last time, unfortunately. I, I have the AA genotype, and so those of us that have AA genotype are said to be worse, we, we react to malaria a lot worse. Um, but it's definitely the, t the one time that has contributed to my conviction to eliminate malaria. Um, it's important that we don't leave the most important things like healthcare to the government alone to sort out or to figure out. I think we all have, we must, like you said, collaborate, we must join hands together to ensuring that our health challenges and these diseases that, you know, challenge us and uh, as, a, as a race are actually adequately dealt with. And we're looking for a future where hopefully we can eradicate that and if not bring the numbers down.